students welcome to this uh, one more video lecture on fluid kinematics so today in this uh, video so we'll going to study the type of fluid flows so we'll going to study the types of fluid flows so in the previous video we have studied the description of in a fluid motion so that is by two methods one is lagrangian method and eulerian method then the velocity then the we have uh, discussed regarding the velocity vector and all those things so in this particular video so we are going to study the types of different fluid flow so the fluid flow are classified into six different categories one is steady and unsteady flow then uniform and non uniform flow laminar and turbulent flow compressible and incompressible flow then rotational and irrotational flow then one two and three dimensional flows so so the type of the fluid flows are broadly classified into these six categories so let us discuss one by one so in this video so the first category is steady and unsteady flow so what is the steady flow so steady flow is defined as the type of fluid flow in which the fluid characteristics like velocity density pressure etc at the point do not changes with respect to time so if they do not changes with respect to time so then such a flows are known as steady flow so what is the steady flow the steady flow is a the type of flow in which the fluid parameters or fluid characteristics such as velocity density pressure so that does not changes with respect to time so then such a flows are known as steady flow so mathematically these equations for with respect to these parameters is given by do p by do t will be equals to 0 then do v by do t is equals to 0 and do rho by do t is equals to 0 so mathematically generally these equations are given in the form of do p by do t is equals to 0 so once again i'll repeat the steady flow is a flow in which the fluid characteristics or parameters such as velocity pressure density etc that do not changes with respect to time so they do not changes with respect to time such a flows are known as steady flow now what the next in the same category the next is a unsteady flow so unsteady flow is defined as the type of flow in which the velocity pressure and density of an a fluid while moving if they changes with respect to time so here there will be no change no change but in this there will be change in these parameters the fluid characteristics or fluid characteristics if they changes with respect to time then such a flows are known as unsteady flow so mathematically so these are given by do p by do t is not equals to 0 then do v by do t is not equals to 0 and do rho by do t is not equals to 0 so once again i'll say so the steady flow is defined as a type of flow in which the fluid characteristics such as velocity pressure density so that do not changes so that do not changes with respect to time so such a flows are known as steady flow and the unsteady flow is defined as the flow characteristics if they changes with respect to time so then such a flow are known as unsteady flow so the next category is uniform and non uniform flow so in the uniform flow it is a defined as it is a type of flow in which the velocity in which the velocity at any given point does not changes with the space so so what is the unsteady flow so in a uniform flow if the velocity of in a fluid if it does not changes with respect to space then such a flows are known as uniform flow so mathematically it is given by do v by do s is equals to 0 means here so it should not 
change with respect to means the velocity should not change with respect to space so it is mathematically given by do v by do s is equal to 0 so such a flows are known as uniform flow so what is a uniform flow uniform flow is defined as the type of flow in which the velocity at any given time does not changes with respect to space does not changes with respect to space so such a flows are known as uniform flow and mathematically it is given by do v by do s is equals to do v by do s is equals to zero then the, the next is the non-uniform flow so non-uniform flow is defined as if the velocity if the velocity if the velocity v changes with respect to space so if it changes with respect to space then such a flows are known as non uniform flow non uniform flow what is a non uniform flow definition so it is a type of flow in which the velocity at any given time changes with respect to space so then such a flow are known as non uniform flow so mathematically so it is given by do v by do s is not equals to zero so once again i'll repeat the uniform flow is a type of flow in which velocity at any time if it not changes with respect to space then such a flows are known as uniform flow and the non-uniform flow is defined as if the, the it is a type of flow in which the velocity at any given time changes with respect to space then such a flows are known as non-uniform flows so mathematically it is given by dou v by dou s is not equals to zero the next type of flows are laminar and turbulent flow so laminar flow is defined as the type of flow in which in which the fluid particles the fluid particles moves in a well defined path in a well defined path and all the streamlines are straight and parallel to each other so means while traveling so these points the fluid particles move in a uniform path in a well defined path and these streamlines are straight and parallel to each other Okay, if the Reynolds and this laminar and turbulent flow is characterized by the non-dimensional parameter called Reynolds number. So Reynolds number is a character is a non-dimensional parameter by which we differentiate the laminar and turbulent flow. If Re is less than less than 2000 the re is less than 2000 then such a flows are known as laminar flow so laminar flow is nothing but if the reynolds number is less than 2000 then such a flows are known as laminar flow and in a laminar flow the fluid particles will be moving in a well defined path and the streamlines and all the streamlines are straight and parallel to each other the in a turbulent flow the fluid particles will be moving in a zigzag manner so this will be the turbulent flow so there will be the so there will be no uniformity among the streamlines and the fluid particles will be moving in a zigzag way so there will be no well defined path for these fluid particles so they will be moving in a different way and if the reynolds number the reynolds number is greater than if the reynolds number is greater than 4000 then such a flows are known as turbulent flow if the re is greater than 4000 then such a flows are known as turbulent flow okay and if the re is if the re is in between 2000 and 4000 if the re value is lies between 2000 and 4000 then such a flows are known as transitional flow transitional flow so what is laminar flow if the re is great less than 2000 then such a flow are known as laminar flow if the 
re is greater than 4000 then such a flows are known as turbulent flow if re is between 2000 and 4000 then such a flows are known as transitional flow the next type of flow is compressible and incompressible flows the compressible and incompressible flows so a compressible flow is defined as the type of flow in which the density of in a fluid in which density of in a fluid changes from one point to another point means during the motion if the density of in a fluid particle changes so then such a flow are known as compressible flow so mathematically it is given by density is not constant okay what is compressible flow if the density of in a fluid changes from one point to another point then such a flows are known as compressible flow now what is incompressible flow if the during the fluid motion if the density of in a fluid particle remains the same throughout its motion then such a flow are known as compress incompressible flow mathematically it is given by density is equals to constant okay what is compressible flow compressible flow are the flows in which the fluid density changes from one position to another position and such a flows are known as incompressible flows now what is incompressible flows if the fluid particles or uh, during the motion if their density remains same throughout its motion then such a flows are known as incompressible flows mathematically it is given by rho is equals to constant so the next type of flow is rotational and irrotational flows so rotational flow is defined as the type of flow in which the fluid particles while traveling in a streamline if they rotates about their own axis if they rotates the fluid particles if they rotate about their own axis then such a flows are known as rotational flows means while traveling in the fluid streamline if these particles rotate about their own axis then such a flows are known as rotational flows the next is irrotational flow if these fluid particles they do not rotate about their own axis while traveling in a streamline then such a flows are known as irrotational flows the next type of flow is one dimensional two dimensional and three dimensional flows so one dimensional flow is defined as in this type of flow in which the flow parameter such as velocity is a function of time and one space coordinate means it will be dependent on time as well as only one component means in a one direction it will be resolved then such a flows are known as one dimensional flow so mathematically it is given by u is equals to f that is function of x and it is also the depends on the time the next two dimensional flow is a type of flow in which the velocity will be the function of both time as well as two space coordinate so that will be either x y okay and mathematically it is given by u is equals to function of x y and time v is equals to function of x y so the w component will be zero the three dimensional flow is a type of flow in which the velocity is a function of time as well as three component three components so it will be three space coordinate so it will be depends on three space coordinate and mathematically so these are given by u is equals to f of function of x y z v is equals to function of x y z and w is equals to function of x y z it is nothing but here the velocity is resolved in one direction here the velocity is resolved in two directions and here the velocity will be or any parameter will be resolved in a three dimensional 